there! My name is Christy. I blog at confessionsofaserialdiyer.com and today I'm going to share with you how easy it is to line your drawers with fabric. I sell a lot of the pieces, actually most of the pieces, that I make over for my blog and anytime they have a drawer I like to add fabric because it adds like a nice custom touch. So today I've got a drawer I have already primed and it's ready to go. So we just need a few supplies. So let's gather them and get started. Okay, so here are the supplies that you need. First of all, of course, you need some fabric. You need Mod Podge. This is matte Mod Podge. A cheap chip brush to apply the Mod Podge. A pencil. And then this comes in a kit. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. This is a rotary cutter and a straight edge. And this allows you to cut super um, nice straight cuts without having these frayed pieces that you might get with scissors. You can absolutely still use scissors though if that's all you have, but these, this works great. Okay, so I have chosen to use a light colored fabric with a white background. So for that reason, I primed my drawer first. So I just taped it off with some frog tape and then uh, painted two coats of primer and then pulled the tape off as soon as I finished the second coat. I normally would line my drawers with darker fabric because you don't have to do any of that prep. So, but I really liked this and I thought it was pretty with the white and the little glass knob that I've got going on here. So, um, it's all prepped, it's dried, and it's ready to go. Now you can use fabric or you can use paper. Um, the good thing about fabric is if it gets dirty from whatever you might be putting in your drawers over time, it's really easy just to pull up the corner and take the whole thing out and replace it. Um, paper won't come out so easily, but of course you could always just cover over paper. Um, also, you won't get the air bubbles with fabric like you'll get with paper because fabric is woven and of course those air bubbles can escape. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my drawer. So, let's see, one. Fourteen and five. Okay, fifteen and one, fourteen and five. Am I going to remember that? I don't know. All right, so let's use our straight edge to get a nice um, crisp edge to start here. Woo, it's like magic. So 15 and one. So I'm just gonna put a little mark. 15 and 1. And I could absolutely use my mat to measure that out as well, but this is almost a little bit easier. So it measured at 15 and 1. So I'm just going to line up my ruler. Cut it. Ah, see how nice that is? And you don't get all those frayed edges that you would get with scissors. Okay, this one is 14 and a half. So then we're doing 14 and a half. This um, cutting mat comes in a set of three items. It comes with the straight edge, which is a little bit wider, the one that came with it. This is my own. Um, and it comes with the mat and the rotary cutter, and it's somewhere around $30. It's not super expensive, but you can use it also for cutting paper. If you have a paper project, I use mine all the time. Okay, so we've cut our fabric. Got my fabric. I'm going to do a test fit to make sure it fits. Looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to Mod Podge. It's gonna pour it on here just like this. Use my chip brush to get a nice even coat. Doesn't really matter if you get it on the side there. It's gonna dry matte anyway. Okay, got a little Mod 
Mod Podge on my finger. Let's just wipe it off on my cloth. Okay. Oh no. Line it up at the front. I always line it up at the front and then just lightly push the bubbles. And there's no need to iron this before if it's wrinkled. All those will smooth out with the Mod Podge. It would be easy to skew the pattern. I think I did just a little bit down there. Yeah. There we go. Little scrap. Just to get these edges. This will dry clear, but there we go. Now, if you do have, I don't know if you can see, you do have a couple little stray threads. And can, you can barely, barely, barely see. You can take your brush and just Mod Podge them down. Just smooth them out. All right, but that's how it looks. Pretty, right? Pretty. So when they open the drawer, that's what it'll look like, right? Okay, let's set that our drawer. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.